All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your Nintendo Switch Pro Controller to your Windows PC using DS4 Windows as your primary driver so you can play all of your favorite games. I'm going to tell you now, if you can go out and buy an Xbox controller, that'll save you a lot of headaches, especially when playing on Windows. It's got the least amount of steps necessary to get it to work and have a bunch of fancy extra features. That said, if you're ready to roll, let's get started in connecting the Pro Controller. So we're gonna need to download three things today to get this to work. We're gonna need to download DS4 Windows, the Windows.NET Framework, and Vision Bus, which allows it to talk to the actual controller itself. So to start out, we're gonna need DS4 Windows, and when you Google DS4 Windows, ignore this first result. They have nothing to do with the actual developers of the program. You want the one from Ryochan7 on GitHub. That's this one right here that says releases Ryochan7 DS4 Windows. From here, we're going to start by downloading the .NET framework. That's the framework that makes this program run. We're going to go ahead and grab the 64-bit edition here at the top. Go ahead and open that and download it to an appropriate folder with all your DS4 Windows stuff. And then go ahead and download the 64-bit edition of DS4 Windows' most recent version which is available right here. Grab the 64-bit edition. I'm gonna grab the zip file version. You can grab the 7-zip version if you want, it's literally the same. And then after that, I'm going to go and download Vision Bus. Same thing, I don't know who runs this other website, but they are definitely not the developer. If you wanna to go to the developer's GitHub page here, releases nefarious Vision Bus. The Vision Bus and a lot of other controller-related peripheral softwares and drivers are made by Nefarious Software Solutions. So if you see Nefarious Software on your computer with a My Little Pony icon, that's this one. So we'll go ahead and open that bad boy. And then we're going to download the most recent version, which is right here. There's only one of them. You can't miss it. And then we'll save that to the same folder and then open that folder. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to install the .NET Framework. It'll pop up a window that looks like this. Just go ahead and follow through the install wizard. It's pretty quick. I've already got them installed, so I'm not going to run through it again. And then after that, you're going to want to install Vision Bus. It looks like this. And then once you're done with that, we're going to open up the DS4 Windows zip file. We're going to extract it either with WinRAR, WinZip, or 7-Zip. I'm going to extract it to a file of the same name. It's just the easiest way to make sure it doesn't unload all of the files inside of it every which direction and make things really confusing. And then inside of the folder that's inside the folder, you will find a program that's all rainbowy that says DS4 Windows, and it says it's an application. Go ahead and open that bad boy. And you'll know we've done the rest of the steps correctly because this window will pop up asking you where you would like to install DS4 Windows. We are going to install it inside of the programs folder. That way, if anything happens in the future, because sometimes these drivers have a hiccup, you can delete the folder that it's in and delete the entire program and all of its settings and then install a fresh copy if you need to. So we're going to install the programs folder. And then the device mapper support window is going to pop open. This is important. Don't just close this. We need to enable switch pro device support. Click on this little thing here that enables pro controller support. By default, it turns off secondary support for other dry or for other controllers other than the PlayStation 4 controller because it prevents conflicts in the system. Now we're just going to enable switch pro device support here and we're gonna to untoggle the DS4 device support at the top. You don't have to do that, but I'm just gonna do that for the sake of simplicity. Once I do that, I'm gonna click close. And then that should open up the DS4 Windows window itself. In the past, there's been another pop-up window that popped up, but because we preliminarily installed the Vision Bus driver, we don't need to worry about that. If you find that you're getting duplicate inputs from your controller when you're using it, Look for the duplicate inputs tutorial on my channel, which will help you to prevent those problems. Otherwise, we're going to now connect this controller with Bluetooth to our computer because it doesn't always want to behave when it's plugged in with a cable for whatever reason. 
So we're gonna open up our Bluetooth settings window. You can Google this or search for it in the Windows search bar in the lower left corner. And then on the top of our controller where you plug it in, there's a big circular button, well, relatively big. We're gonna press on that for like, I don't know, like the count of maybe like 12 or so. Sometimes the light on the back should start flashing, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why it sometimes doesn't. But after you've held it for a moment, we're gonna go ahead and go to the top here, add Bluetooth or other devices and click on that. And then inside this black pop-up, click Bluetooth. And then if we did this correctly, our pro controller should show up here on the list. Go ahead and click on that to connect it. Once it's connected, your little home button should light up blue on the front of your pro controller. It doesn't always, but it often does. So here you can see that the Switch Pro Controller has popped up inside the list of devices here inside of DS4 Windows. For whatever reason, the blue light around my home button on the Pro Controller didn't light up, even though it just did a few minutes ago when I tested this. But the light on the bottom of the controller that says one, two, three, or four should light up green if it's connected and everything's hunky-dory. Uh, but mostly if it shows up here, you should be good to go. And then from here, you're good. You can now start playing your games on all of your favorite PC games. And as long as DS4 Windows is open or minimized, but definitely open and still running, it will function as your computer's driver. And then you should be good to go. There are some other things you can do, like you can customize key bindings by clicking on edit. Unfortunately, because this is primarily made for a PlayStation 4 controller, this doesn't really display the same buttons on it that are available on the PlayStation. Um, but you can kind of get the gist of it. <clears throat> the left controller stick is still the left joystick, and the right joystick is still the right joystick. It's just in a different place. And you can click on any of these buttons, and you can remap it to anything on a keyboard or on an Xbox controller. And you're probably saying to yourself, but, but Larry, I don't want to see... Uh, Xbox controls because it's pretending to be an Xbox controller when I play my 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 PC games. How do I change it to display uh, Nintendo buttons? Uh, the unfortunate answer is with DS4 Windows you cannot. You can if you use the Steam drivers instead on some games, not all of them, just games that have some latent uh, Nintendo controller support will allow you to display. Nintendo controls, but generally not very many. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a brief look at how to connect your Switch Pro controller to DS4 Windows in order to play your games on your PC. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.